Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madupa, I'm a corporate professional. So I know I haven't posted in a while, but I'm back with another video and I'm going to be more consistent. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about, about why I changed my role. So if you guys don't know, I used to work as an economic consultant for an engineering company. I now work as a funding analyst or treasury analyst for a financial services company a small medium-sized um, company so in this video i'm going to discuss the reasons why i've actually left my previous role to pursue a role as a treasury analyst so just a bit of background i was working as an economic consultant within um, the engineering space and i was mostly my projects were mostly focused on the um, transport um, industry and i worked for um i worked there for about a year and a half i believe so around a year and a half um if you don't know I have a video um on what i do what i did as an economic analyst so it would be great for you to, um for you all to actually watch that so you can understand in detail what i was doing um while i was working as an economic economic analyst for a year and a half so let's start with reason number one so the first reason i decided to leave my role as an economic consultant and pursue a role in finance I wanted to gain a better understanding of the financial um, market so i'm really really into finance and i've always been into finance from my undergrad in economics and my you know i pursued a master's in finance and econometrics and i really love understanding financial products what makes the market moves um you know building financial models looking at cash flow and trying to report data in different ways and yes yeah, so i understand the securitization understanding financial transactions that's what has always caught my eye that's what i've always loved to do and in my previous role i wasn't really getting that yeah this is why it's really really important as a grad when you come out of um, university you need to really read the role description really well because you can have an idea of what a role would look like and then there's what the actual the actual role is so you really really need to ask loads of questions during the interview but that's a that's a different video so that was the number one reason because i wanted to learn more about the um, financial markets and financial industry and work within finance and i wasn't getting that with my previous role hence the decision to um to leave Number two, so the, my second reason for leaving was because I wanted a role that wasn't too broad. I wanted a role that was quite specific in terms of it was easily transferable if I was going to apply for a different role. So with my previous role, within economic consultant, and this is not the case for every um, company at all, every economic consultant, consultant role. But what I found was that I was working on a vast range of projects, so it made it difficult to to kind of pin down like real skills that can, that i can you know easily transfer to other roles so don't get me wrong i did learn good skills that i can transfer to other roles such as like my um, good excel skills um you know being able to interpret data so i did you know learn that but in terms of like um skills that are quite specific whereby i can use it um to really add value to um to a different company i feel like i wasn't um getting in my previous role so the role was quite broad with different projects it was really really broad like um some projects i was gaining all the skills that i wanted you know doing some financial modeling um building um graphs and charts which i really love to do and in other projects i wasn't doing that so i didn't i wasn't gaining the skills that i wanted to in in that role hence the decision to move my third reason is quite similar to my second reason um so the role was quite broad um so like you could work on with with the projects you do a really really broad you can work on different projects to the point where some projects you would really enjoy some projects you want some projects would require totally different skills from other projects whereas i'm that kind of person when i actually when I'm gaining skills that I really enjoy, I want to keep working on projects that will allow me to develop those skills further and become, you know, an ex expert um, at that specific skill. And that I wasn't getting that with my previous role because I was always on um, projects that are quite different from time to time. So that was um, that was quite frustrating. Another reason I left was because the my previous role didn't have. Um, 
economic they didn't touch on economic theories that um you know advanced economic theories that i learned at university now this is really really important when you're looking for economic consultant um roles um you need to really look at the job description because there are some companies there are some roles whereby you learn core economic um theories um you can look look at mergers and acquisitions you can look at um, competitive pricing um you know you can learn like core micro microeconomic um knowledge that like there's so many there's so many varieties so you could have some economic consultant roles whereby you're really gaining like core economic theory um you're really practicing what you did at university at an advanced level and then there's some economic um consultant roles whereby you're not actually taking in as much economic um you're not actually practicing all the economic knowledge you learned at university so this was quite frustrating for me but that being said, there was a project that I worked on whereby it was basically like it was a lot of um, economic theory. It took me back to university, which I loved. But the thing was, that was that one project and that project, once that project was done, it was done. So it wasn't like there was another project that was exactly like that. So that was that was the problem. When you get a project that you really love and you're building the skills that you really want, the analytical skills that you want to gain, it doesn't mean you're going to keep getting projects like that. So there will be projects whereby you can utilize all those skills. You can even gain further skills within and that area of financial modeling, you know, strong analytical skills, economic theory, applying economic theories. But then there are other projects where you won't be able to do these things. Another reason why I left the role, and this is not due to the, um, to the role itself, it's more due to me. I found that I wasn't particularly interested in the transport industry. So now the industry you work in actually, uh, it actually um, has a lot of um, impact, a uh, high impact on the kind of work you do and the knowledge you will gain. So for example, um, you know, an economic consultant working in the transport industry versus an economic consultant working in the financial services industry, you will gain very, very different skills. So you need to be aware of that. You need to be aware of the kind of knowledge you want to gain so if you're very analytical you like finance if you want to do a lot of financial modeling i would say look at um look at economic consultant roles within the financial services space um rather than looking at um specific um industries like um, like transport industry or looking at um you know other industries that are not finance and related so definitely take that into account that being said there are some roles where you know they might not be in the financial service industry but they require a lot of um you know financial modeling but that that to me when i've been looking in the past that's that's been like an odd few so um yeah just keep that in mind i wasn't particularly interested in in the transport industry um, I found that like um, with certain projects, I had to how to have kind of love transport, understand the different components that go in, that goes into um, you know building a bridge or building a road, and that it was good knowledge. Don't get me wrong, I, there were some projects where I really enjoyed it and I learned a lot, but I did not see myself doing that long term. So yeah, those are all my reasons for um, leaving my previous role as an economic consultant to working within finance as a treasury analyst so please guys do not use this video to i don't want this video to discourage anyone from going into economic consulting i'm just here to inform you and make you um you know understand have a better understanding of different things to expect and different things to look out for when applying for these roles so one thing i can say if you're very analytical you love numbers there's there are roles for you in within economic consulting that's perfect and if you want to get into economic consulting and you don't really like numbers too much you're not really extremely analytical there are roles for you too so that's what this video is trying to convey definitely while working as an economic consultant i did learn a lot um it was it was really insightful I, and you know it helped me get this role that i'm in right now so i am very very grateful and it was a great company to work for as well so i'm just here to show you um let you guys know um all your options definitely so please 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 if you have any questions comment down below um and if you have any personal questions relating to your situation and your job search 
and you know questions around what kind of career you want to go into and what you need to look out for please 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 drop me a message my social media link is down below you can contact me on linkedin you can contact me on instagram and you can um, contact me by email as well so i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next video bye